Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And, yep, you guessed it. I'm back at the lake. It's a beautiful morning. It's an early morning. It's really early. Eh, not really for some people's standards. It's like 7 o'clock. But, gorgeous morning. Very quiet on the water. Got a lot of rain yesterday, so this is nice. Um, today, though, however, we're actually not going to be here at this lake. We're heading up to Alexandria Bay, which is on the Thousand Islands, up on Lake Ontario and all that. So up by the Canadian border. We're doing a day up there, checking out the place. I've never seen it. There's a boat ride on Lake Ontario, and it's just a beautiful area. I mean, it's gorgeous lake and gorgeous land. So yeah, just a quick look here of what's going on here. We're only here for a few days this time. Not as long as we were last time, so we got today and tomorrow, and then we're heading back home. But yeah, I'm really excited to get going. I'm just waiting for everyone else to get ready. And then we're heading out. Speedway in the middle of God knows where in New York. Took the Volvo eh? It's pretty nice. It's an XC60. We're in a few of these, but this one's got the five cylinder, which I really like. This is a little town here, but we're trying to get on this boat okay, over here. Cool. Uncle Sam boat course. We have the tickets already, right? All right, there's a boat over there. This thing is huge. We're trying to get up on the top. Yeah, that's what we should do. Yeah, that's view. All right, here we are, way up on the top. See, some of these boats have water wheels. Johnston, our notorious river pirate, once hit out for two days and nights after burning and sinking the British mail steamer, the Sir Robert Peel. The news, she also brought back some really unwelcome guest, the authorities. Johnston, the foundation of the Wabuna Inn, which was a once famous hotel and restaurant that unfortunately burned down in the 1970s. And a hotel is like a motel, but one that you can only access by boat, so it's located on an island. But imagine having this house. And they are pretty rare nowadays, but I do think that there are still just a few in our area. And he is up on top of the Widow's Watch of Comfort Lodge. He is oh there God. because the owner is also the owner of Brown Bear Production. The thing rebuilt, and if you would like to see it, you can because. He willed it to the Antique Boat Museum in Clayton, New York. I'm going to take now, a little Clayton's break in my tour right over. here just to give you guys an opportunity to enjoy this some of the Alexander scenery. Bay, and I will be right back with miles. you. So that tour boat there is Canadian. Well, we're American. And all the jet skis try to catch their wake. <laughs> that's a, just a little hut right there. I guess that's a boathouse. Yeah. Right, as promised, because we are about to pass underneath what the tourists like to call the Golden Gate Bridge, but what the locals Green. like to call the Thousand Islands Bridge. And this is the first the span, the largest span, as well as the American span of the bridge. There are five spans in total. 
total. This one is followed by the international and then three consecutive Canadian. He was trying to steal the internet. So that is kind of we damaging like, to like some of our birds. fish populations in fish this region. There. See, the blackbirds aren't good. Behind the statue of Mary, we do have flags that express the nationalities of the people who own the home. The home wow. was once owned by Gabrielle Hoffman, and she was an actress, a child actress, who later hey, passed Lord away. Coming. Her son is Anderson Cooper, and he can still. <laughs> Large laker. They are the larger of the types of the two of our freighters. Listen to its engine. Oh my gosh. That's a big freighter. That's huge. It provides opportunity for those of all different skill levels. It looks like an ocean out there. Due to it her very so depth. We will often pass pass by wow, and see a dive boat there. We actually did they yesterday. Like speed boats, but really they're as big as the bay liner. So we did already have this, Man, but if you were going to come out here, you would definitely oh, want to bring a guide. <laughs> Oh man, look at the boat they have in that garage. Does anybody like ghost hunters? Any ghost hunters fans? That's a really cool property. Was also a stop on the Underground Railroad. into the island and for George it symbolizes his triumph over poverty. Castle. Next the one that looks kind of like a sand castle with an American flag just kind of plopped in the, the top so that is Ulster right Tower there. formerly known as the Children's Playhouse. It's now down past the castle it gets really wide out here. If you look now. over to the left, you can kind of see some evidence right of that. Area, yeah. And shallow water. So what you're going to want to do when you catch one of these is you're going to want to take a picture with it because no one's going to think you caught a fish there. Like, you know. Then you want to take it, throw it right back in the river where you found it. Alright, we're going to dock the boat castle. There's the main castle. That's what we'll go inside. And then there's a boat house as well that we're going to see. This will dock. Bring your boats up too. You got a picture of the map? Yes. With your flash? You are. My flash just pops until you go off. Alright, here's the porch to the castle. Agreed by the billiards room. We're gonna walk around here <coughs> and go into the entrance though. These walls are insane. And the ceiling. I mean, the whole ceiling is done up like that. It is really cool how you get the Canadian stuff and the American stuff. There's French brochures. This is the way we Canadian exchange. The oh, when they were. They do before they restored it. These ceilings are just so incredible. You see the pool rooms. Oh, yeah. The hearts are hidden all over yeah. the place here. What is this, just like judgment chairs or just when you're waiting? No, oh, those are where you sit and wait till your turn. Right. <laughs> you got cup holders and everything. Yeah. This lobby is just impressive. There's just some dining room in here. Have a beautiful chandelier. Imagine eating in here and just having that giant window out there. And it's like all open up so the breeze just blows through and then out there you've got view the lake. All out here, you've got a view. Oh, what a lovely basement. It's, um, it's the workers' quarters. They have this whole pool area in the basement. 
<laughs> yeah. We're kind coming. of out of good picture spots. Fun. Very grand ballroom. No, Oregon. Wow. I love these lights. That line the ceiling. It's the grand ballroom. You have the grand sitting room. Beautiful architecture in the ceiling. Lots of books. Beautiful fireplace. Here's one of the bedrooms. These are all family suites going down there. I don't know who. Oh, this is George's suite. This is the man himself. It's all nice and round. So now this is the wife's room. Because back then it wasn't really a thing to have rooms together. Separate, separate suites. Boats going outside. She doesn't really get a good view compared to him. I always love these old bathrooms, how they have them set up. What is this room? Clover, oh right, that's, they had a daughter. They had kids. I like the fake old fans over there. Can I get that? The little girl had a reception room. What? It's improper to see a maiden in her sleeping. Chamber. Oh, right, so she could have tea parties in this room. Oh, she has the best view of all, I think. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Amazing. So, out there is the Italian garden and then the children's castle. So, this is the fourth floor here. Not much up here, just good view at that. And some maps over here. They're more like. Floor plans, sorry, not maps. Yeah, so this is more of an unfinished area that maybe one day they'll finish, but for now, this is how they leave it. So you really get a feel for what the castle was like before they started restoring it up here because there's nothing up here except some cool views and a bunch of you know, holes in the wall. That, that's Canada out there with it. Hi Canada. Some really cool views up here. All that. I like how they just have the dome exposed in there and it doesn't actually get like real light. It just gets light through some windows into the window. This is the balcony. You can see everything down there. There's a stag up above us. So this is their kitchen here. We actually missed this down here earlier. Ah, uh, this is the maid's pantry, or maid's dining room. They honestly have a pretty good view for the maid's dining room. This is probably next to bathrooms being recreated. I think kitchens are the next yeah, best thing. This is cool. Because they've got the, all the old bottles and stuff. The old freezer. Here's the uh, servant's dining room. Actually, in the servant's dining room, look at their view. I mean, look at this. There was no bad room here. It's insane. Is it now? So, we have been tasked with just walking around. We've got, we've got a few more places to visit here while we're here. We've got the garden, whatever this thing is. The pump house and the playhouse and thing. The power station. Well, power station is what I meant by saying pump house. Whoops. All while looking at that beautiful island over there and beautiful Canada. We got another big barge going by here. I guess they go morning, afternoon, and evening. They come through here. They all don't seem to be really loaded, so. But this is the Italian garden, did it say? So this is his children's house, playhouse. He built this for his children. And a gazebo over there, big castle back there. Oh, they have me really excited. They they haven't finished the uh, child's house. Interesting. They haven't finished the children's house. Yeah, a little bit. What matters is it's cool. Look out from the outside. Thank you. Yeah, this itself is its own house. Multi stories. 
There's some very intriguing music playing in all these rooms. Bowl oh, this was going to be the bowling alley right here. They actually have lanes set up. That's kind of cool. That's really cool. It's so weird that the boats just go right on by here. Like you look straight outside and it's just boom. Party boat. Speed boat. I think this is my new favorite balcony here. Look at this. It's just amazing. Got the view of Canada and America in one. This is like the only part of this that they have done so far. Axes, knight in shining armor, and yeah, the rest of it just loops around. And there's no other stories on this one. That's cool though. Very cool. We got doors. Have you seen the doors yet? Or the completed doors? Focus it. There we go. It's cool. All right. Look at this. This is probably my favorite fountain here, just because how funny it looks. Oh, it's missing its nose, best part. It's called the throwing up statue. That one. It's very refreshing right now. It got hot out today. But look at that. It looks refreshing out there. Now that is the... What is it? It's, I keep calling it the pump house. It's just the electric house. The electric station. Yes. So this is the last thing we have to look at. Then we gotta rush over to the pump house over there. Because they stopped having boats run back and forth. What, five? Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. So yeah, we gotta rush that. Oh my god, it's a room full of pumps and engines. That's awesome. So now we're waiting to get on this shuttle boat to get over to the yacht house. Just watching the boats go by. Kind of a downgrade from the last boat, huh? Alright, this is the yacht house. Half an hour to quickly run through it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is it? Yeah. Okay, then I, yes, this can happen in half an hour. Okay, yeah, good. Because I was worried it was going to be too much for us to ta take in half an hour. Alright, so immediately I'm heading over here to the tiny little open motor boat, which is cool. And all the outboards. We'll come back and look at each of these separately. I'm just going around right now. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. I think what I like about these the most is they left them in their original state as they were being used. Like they didn't fix up any of the soot that came out from the exhaust. Any of the rust. Now the Royal. This is probably the most rare one in here, maybe next to the Cali. But these things are non-existent anymore. You can find wizards. Wizards are pretty rare too. Wizards were just early Mercuries. These Altos you can still find. Early Johnsons and Everwoods you can still find. Because those were what people like to collect. Now this is the original Duchess right there. It is really cool how they just have the open water right here. And these are these are pretty cool too. Exposed prop. That one doesn't have the exposed prop down there. Throttle. Wow. Look at throttle. That's pretty cool. Inline sixes, I'm guessing. Really cool. So believe it or not, this was a race boat. It's hard to tell. It's so huge. But PDQ was like the early generation of the G2. Huge cylinders. Insane engine. This cute little thing. You know, one cylinder. All right. Here's another uh, cool room. This is up above the boathouse or yacht house. It's right where we docked, right there. Um, what is this like? What did they call this? 
The living quarters of like the people that built the boats. That's cool. Yes. So we had a red room and a yellow room. This one's a lot smaller. Not as good of a room. I don't know what that was. These have to be like the big grand living quarters here for all of them. Big grand ceilings in these again. I love those. And there's a staircase going up, but we can't go up. I like these windows are cool that they look out like that. It would have been really cool if they looked straight down into the yacht house, which I feel like it might have. At one point, before they put that wall up, it probably did. All right, that's our ticket out of here, back to the yeah, bay. That's it. Nice. This one has a water wheel. Yeah. There you go. Aren't you happy? So excited. Very cool. Goodbye, Castle. This boat's a bit cooler. It's got the big steam steam shoots. I guess those are the horns. Or fake, but. Yeah, we're heading across the river. All right, we're back here at the parking lot in the main little town over there. It's pretty cool seeing it from this angle. So this town is literally a beach town. All the shops are like print shirt shops and yeah. Nothing, nothing different than Ocean City and all that in New Jersey. All right, so I'm ending this vlog where I started it yesterday back down at the dock because I'm actually leaving today, and I haven't really gotten any footage here at the lake, but as you know, a lot of that footage has already been taken in those previous videos. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this vlog here, make sure to leave a like. Uh, it was a pretty fun day at Alexandria Bay. Definitely going to go there again. Thousand Islands all together was really cool. I loved it. If you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.